subscribe click on the bell like comment share salt y and salt z are copper salts can you tell from the color which of the salt y and z is copper 2 carbonate and which is copper 2 sulfate both salts were heated strongly and the observations were recorded from the table can you determine the identities of salt Y and Z? The anions can be identified from the gases given off when the salts are heated strongly. How can we determine the anions of salts that do not give off gas when heated strongly? Solution X contains four types of anions. They are carbonate, chloride, nitrate, and sulfur ions. The flowchart shows test A, test B, test C, and test D. These are confirmatory tests for carbonate, chloride, nitrate, and sulfur ions. Add 2 cubic centimeter of dilute hydrochloric acid into the test tube containing 2 cubic centimeter of an aqueous solution X. Bubble the gas released through lime water. State the procedure of this test. What do you observe? Where does the gas come from? What can you conclude from test A? Add excess dilute nitrate acid into the test tube containing 2 cubic centimeter of the solution X. Then add 2 cubic centimeter of silver nitrate solution. State the procedure of this test. What do you observe? Which silver salt is white and insoluble? What can you conclude for test B? Add excess dilute hydrochloric acid into a test tube of solution X. Then add barium chloride solution. State the procedure of this test. What do you observe? Which barium salt is white and insoluble? What can you conclude? Add 2 cubic centimeter of dilute sulfuric acid followed by 2 cubic centimeter of freshly made iron 2 sulfate solution into the test tube containing solution X. Carefully and slowly add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid on the inner side of the slanting test tube. This will form a distinct layer at the bottom. State the procedure of this test. What do you observe? The brown ring is a nitrosyl complex of ferrum. Where does the nitro part come from? What can you conclude for test D? These are the confirmatory tests for the four anions. We have learned how to carry out confirmatory tests for carbonate, chloride, nitrate and sulfur anions. These tests were carried out to find out the anions found in solutions R. Watch the video showing the confirmatory tests carried out on the solution. Based on the video, key in the observation, inference, and conclusion in the spaces provided. Click check when you are done.
In this lesson, we have learned how to identify anions present in an aqueous solution. The flowchart shown may be used as a guide to identify anions present in an aqueous solution. Click on each test to see the procedure and the results if the anion is present. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.